Guys, I'm fishing. I've changed up my tactics a little bit. I got a little sli uh, clip on uh, torque there. And I've got a Dynamax jig. It's just a little old, uh, looks like a uh, pipe cleaner body. A little bit of hair on the back of it, some silver tinsel on it. And these are, they're called Dynamax jigs. They work excellent on this lake, for sure, on Lake Conway. Need a little crappy nibble on it, make it a little bit more interesting. I don't even think I've got any stinkum with me to spray on it. But I've missed three so far on it. You'd think I'd hook up with one of them here directly. I don't know if the, I'm not letting them take it long enough or what I'm doing here. Something's not g and hawing real good. There's a little bite. There's a little bite. There we go. Ooh, I might have tightened that drag just a little bit. Finally hooked up with one of them on the Dynamax jig. Dynamax jig. That's a pretty decent brand. The bluegill. Pretty decent bluegill. All right, now quit that. Slang that water all in my face. Pretty decent. We'll take him. All right, I'm fishing with the uh, six pound Mr. Crappie high vis. I've got it on a Mr. Crappie slab shaker reel. And it's a Browning Siliflex. This rod actually, several years ago, I was fishing on the on the White River trout fishing and uh, found this rod in the bottom of the river. Somebody had lost it. Of course, the reel was trashed. It had been in the water so long. But I brought the rod home, cleaned it up, and it's doing awesome. A little four and a half foot ultralight. Come on, let's get us nothing with this little old jig here. Like I said, I didn't bring my crappie nibbles or my spray, but they're still hitting the darn thing. They may not be very big, but they're hitting it. Dog days of summer. My uh, my graph says the surface temperature is 89.9. That's about as close as 90 as you can get. It's hot. We've had five days, I think. Temperature between 98 and 100 and Heat index is up to 115, 118. Still, I had to go back to the house, get some batteries for the camera. So I thought I'd pick up my power beat, Berkeley, crappy doubles. Put them on this little old jig. Give it a little bit more flavor. Let's see if it'll help them out. I did, whenever I pulled back up here though, I did notice there's a Big fish in here chasing them fry, so he may have them screwed up. That's a pretty decent one. Yes, uh, that's that little Dynamax jig, guys. Never fished with these, any kind of jig like this for brim when I was a kid, but they do work. There's that little crappie nibble on there. That may have made the difference on that last one. Like I said, I never caught, never fished with these when I was a kid, but they are working. There you go. Finally caught up with one of them. He's not very big. He can be a shiner. I believe it's bluegill. He's big enough. He just wasn't putting up much of a fight. Wasn't putting up much of a fight. There's that little Dynamax jig again, guys. Yes, sir. I forgot to turn the on camera on. There's another one, guys. Those are good bait-sized fish, but I, I think I can still eat them. 
you fish hunger. That's big enough to fly. <laughs> that almost looked like a red ear. He tried to get in them pads. Ah, son of a gun got off. that sucker. I got that sucker. He's not a very big one, but I, I think he's big enough. No bass gonna come back after him. Oh, one of the boat he tries to go. Yes, sir. He got a notch out of his back. A lot of folks probably would think that, that was a gar or a snapping toad or something got hold of him. My guess is, is that's where I hooked my brim. Somebody's had him on truck line or a limb line or something. Cause that's where I hooked my bait on the on my limb lines and truck line. I figured that and got loose and left him a scar. There he is. There he is. That little old jig boy, they just can't stand it. So anybody. Grew up like I did, thinking live bait was the only way to go. It ain't. Love it. So much fun. Oh, Best sucker out of them pads. That didn't work out too good. I got it in the pads anyway. There we go. That's another for the frying pan. Like I say, guys, these are, these are not very big ones, but they sure eat good. There he is. Get up out of them pads. That's a little better fish. That's a little bit better fish. A little bit. He sure pulled that string though. Sun trying to pop out, they might turn them on a little bit. But it ain't looking good. Oh, there he is. That's where we'll close out that fishing trip. That sun gun just snuck right up in there, didn't he? That's a pretty decent bluegill. That's a nice one to end it on. Nice one to end the fishing trip on. Alright, we're gonna go back up here to the house. Skin these suckers out. Y'all stick with us. Let's see what they taste like. I didn't film how to uh, scale these fish and flay them. I did that on the last video that I did. So if you need to know, go back to the last video that I put up and check it out. But I figure most of you already know how to do the cleaning part. So I've got these fish ready. Got them all scaled out and filleted and ready to go into to the, uh, we're going to blacken these. I even cut the, ri the rib meat off of them made off the ribs after I cut the ribs out of the fillet so we're going to get some uh, peanut oil in our wok I'm going to cook them in a wok tonight it's going to be a blackened recipe I have my own uh, blackened rub that I use I'll put a link to or uh, not a link but I'll put a uh, recipe in the uh, description of the video that way y'all can make your own it's pretty daggone good I ain't going to lie to you so let's get us some grease in the skillet and uh, get it started heating up and then we'll 
put the seasoning on these fish. All right, let's get this box fired up. Got my fish cooker, I guess you call it, burner. A little torch, light it off with. Get that song gun going. Like I said, we're gonna use peanut oil. Put a little shot of that in there. That should be plenty. Now, blackened seasoning on the fish. I make my own blackening seasoning, like I said. I'll put the recipe in the description below. Let's get these fish seasoned up with it. I'm just gonna take them and, I've got them in a wash tub that I picked up at a yard sale somewhere. Old, uh, old timey wash tub. Uh, not a wash tub, wash pan. I, that's what we got, a dish pan. Sprinkle that stuff on there. We ain't gonna be afraid to use it. Blackening seasoning, you wanna you want to coat it pretty good. Then we're going to shake that stuff up. Get it on both sides. All sides. Start around. Whatever it takes. Get us a little another shot of it. I, ain't, uh, I didn't put enough in there. Y'all just season this the way you like it. Put some more in there. Oh yeah, now we're getting close. Now we're getting close. Now I have drained these fish. To get the most of the water out of them. So, but now, I believe that's enough seasoning. So now, we'll get this grease hot, we'll throw it in there. I don't know if y'all can tell it or not, but that grease is smoking. It's pretty daggone hot. So, we'll turn it up just a little bit. We'll get some fish in there. These boogers on that hot wok. Get this black one started. Sizzle. Golly, that smells good. Like I said, just use a little bit of peanut oil on in there. And that blackness season. And it smells some kind of good. The less you stir them, the better off you are. Or flip them. A lot of folks say, like on a steak, it doesn't hurt to flip them, which it doesn't. You can flip them back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But on fish, you'll turn it to mush if you're not careful. So let's put them all on here and let them get started doing their thing. And we'll try to flip them as they get a little bit more done. We'll try to flip them. Maybe one time, may take two. We'll see how it works out. This is gonna be so freaking good. If you hadn't tried them blacking, whether it's brim, crappie, walleye, whatever it is that you guys kick, Y'all check it out. Cause it's, I promise you. Get this blackening season recipe that I've got and put on there, it's gonna be good. I promise you, it's gonna be good. All right, I'm gonna say that's probably good. Turn this fire down a little bit. I still gotta put these green beans on there that Cheryl's wanting. Let's get this stuff off here. Put it in our box with it. Let it be draining while we finish up our green beans. Man, that smells so good. You can't believe. Guys, try it out. I'm telling you, the seasoning recipe is good. And if you like blackened anything that you've ever had, this is going to be awesome. I promise you. I wouldn't steer you wrong. Oops, These green, get these green beans started in here. If I can ever figure out how to There we go. Put a little less back and season on them. 
Side the piece. I'm gonna turn that dang fire off. Pair of tongs is not the best thing to scoop these with either, by the way. Let's go try them out and see how they are. All right, let's see how good we're done. First, we're gonna bless the meal though. Y'all hang on to a second. Dear God, we thank you for this meal that you have prepared for us. We pray, Lord, that you would bless this food to the nurse of our bodies. Thank you for the blessings that you give us, Lord. Thank you for the opportunity to catch these fish. Lord, we pray that you would uh, be with those that are sick and afflicted. Be with all of our people that are watching this, Lord, and keep them all safe. Lord, we pray that you be with our family and our friends. These things we pray in Jesus' holy name. Now, let's see if it's any good. Got some of that, baby? Yep, I sure do. Oh, we got some. I didn't even tell you guys. Got some yum yum sauce, too. Bang bang sauce. I mean, yeah, not yum yum. Bang bang. Bang bang sauce. So, I'll, uh, this is Cheryl's recipe. Mrs. Slick. I'll put a this recipe in the description of this video on that, too. So that way, you can get the full effect. Not just the blackened fish and the blackened green beans that are hard to scoop up with a fork. Yeah, they are. <laughs> but we'll put the bank, or the, uh, yeah, the bank bank sauce down there too. See if it's any good. Yes, you know it is. Oh, yeah. And this looks awesome. God, this bank bank sauce. Guys, I'm telling you, this is a game changer right here. See how black that fish is, crusted on the outside? Should have a little crunch to it. Mm. The bomb. It's good. Dot com. Oh my. It's good by itself without the bang bang sauce. And the green beans? Mm -hmm. They're good. I've never tried to blacken green beans before, but. Yeah, they are good. All right, guys. We appreciate y'all watching. We'd ask that you would uh, subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up on this video. Let us know that you like what we're doing. Leave us a comment. You like, like us do something different? You got anything special requests, whatever? Just let us know. We'll try to, try to hook you up. Try this recipe out. Blackened brim. It's good. It's awesome. Till next time, God bless. Bye.